Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Economics course. Today we're going to be looking at injections and leakages. What are injections and leakages? There are certain factors which are going to increase our levels of aggregate demand in our economy. Aggregate demand being the amount of goods and services we're going to produce in our economy domestically and which get demanded for over a period of time. If we have a factor which is going to shift aggregate demand, we can call that factor an injection to the economy because we're injecting kind of a motive in order to increase the amount of AD. Equally, in the same manner, there are certain factors which are going to reduce the levels of aggregate demand and this is going to reduce national income. These are therefore called leakages because we're leaking our income. A macroeconomic equilibrium exists when we have a balance between the injections and leakages in our economy. So now we're going to have a look at examples of injections and leakages. Injections which increase AD are as follows. Government spending, investment or consumer spending, and exports. This is because we are actually spending more onto our government, which is going to give us kind of more income in order to be able to produce more goods and services, which are ultimately going to be demanded for. Taxation, saving and imports, which are all leakages, are going to take away the amount of money we are going to be able to have and use to produce more goods and services for, which is therefore going to decrease aggregate demand. Now we're going to have a look at the types of injections in depth. Government spending is the money spent by the government which is going to be used to fund the supply of merit goods predominantly. It's mainly used to supply all goods, but it's mainly focused actually on merit goods in order to be able to increase social welfare. Also, it is spent on infrastructure, which is used to improve kind of the buildings around us in our towns and cities, and transfer payments. Investment is a spending by firms on consumer um, capital goods and new technology. By spending, by having these firms spend more on technology and capital goods, we're going to increase our productive efficiency and ultimately our AD is going to shift because we're able to produce more goods and services with improved technology and more capital goods. Exports are simply the goods and services which are then sold abroad to other economies externally, which are originally produced domestically in the UK. Leakages. Taxation, which is one of the main leakages, is a the amount of kind of money households and firms are having to pay to the government, which the government then imposes as a charge. Savings are the income which is not spent on tool, uh, on goods and services and are just kept and ultimately uh, are injected back into the economy and people just leave it to themselves. Imports are the opposite of exports, and these are the goods and services which are purchased by our kind of economy from these external economies which are producing these goods and services from themselves. Here are some questions on injections and leakages. List three injections and three leakages on these questions which you can see on screen now, and then have a go at uh, pausing the video to then press play to see if you got the answers right. Here are the answers. If you got these right, congratulations, I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on the circular flow of income. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to visit the channel playlist or revisealevel.co.uk for more information on all of your A-level courses. As always, thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.